Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Schimpf with the Synchro team from Bentley. When setting up a control project, we're going to want to create an I model. So we have two different options when creating I models. If we already have an existing Synchro project, we can export an SP file and we can create an I model using uh, the existing project or the existing SP file that we already have. The second, if we're starting from scratch, is we can actually use the um, design files, we can add those to our documents and then we can reference those design files in our documents and create a I model using those. So first what we'll do is we'll create an I model using an SP file, give it a name here. I want to point out this set up this I model for scheduling service. What this does by selecting this it's going to create a connection between 4D Pro, Control and our field app. So once we create this I model, whatever changes I make in 4D Pro will reflect in our scheduling module in control. We'll also be able to see that reflect in our field app. So now all I need to do is simply drag and drop my SP file and I can hit create. It's going to take a few minutes depending on how large your file is to synchronize your file. Now that the iModel is finished syncing and created, we can see that it's activated the scheduling module and now we can open up 4D Pro, view our model, our schedule and make updates that will reflect in our schedule module within uh, the control project here. So as you can see is we have our model, we have our schedule and we can actually play through our construction timeline to see the sequencing of our schedule. Now let's open up Synchro 4D Pro we can go open, now we can go to our control project. This will open up a list of our projects. I can find my project here. Now that my project's opened up, I can see that I have my schedule and I have my I model. This is all linked. If I add a step here, if we add a new task here, we'll be able to see this now in control. So before we do that is that we have our model here. If I scroll through, we can see that it's linked to our timeline here, right? So everything's linked. If I bring my focus time before my model started, everything has been linked. We can see that, right? So next, let's say we have a change order and we're going to update the, the side of this wall of the building. So now all I'd have to do now is go to Navigator, External Data, and we can see here I have my architecture. So now I would just go synchronize from, browse to find my file. We can see here we have an updated architectural file. I would hit synchronize. And now if we scroll to the start of our timeline, we'll notice that this section of the wall has been updated. But if we go through our timeline, we can see that everything else is still linked. When we're updating these models, as long as you're using updating your existing model and you keep those unique identification numbers the same, all your links will stay the same. Obviously, your new components that have been added here, those will need to be linked, but your model will stay intact. We'll just have to update uh, the schedule and link the schedule accordingly with the new updated components. So now if we go back to control, we'll be able to see our new task for control. So now that we're back in control, we can see here that I have a new task for control and I'm able to see that task that we've added in 4D Pro. Now let's create an iModel using the design files. In our documents, we can create a folder, call it design files. And now I can just drag and drop the design files I want to build my model with. Now that we have our design files populated, let's go back to manage iModel, edit this. I'm going to uncheck this and now we'll create a new iModel using the design files and set that up for scheduling service. Set this up for scheduling service. Now I'm going to hit create. This is going to create an iModel container. Now we want to create this connection here. Now we have a couple different options here. We have iTwin file service. This is going to create a direct link 
to our document folder. If you're using ProjectWise, same sort of idea. It's going to create that direct link to your ProjectWise documents and we'll be able to create an iModel using the design file stored in ProjectWise. Before we select iTwin file service, I just want to point out the individual file connector. So by turning this on, what this does is that if we have design files from different software, such as Revit, MicroStation, um, and so on, we can select this and it'll recognize that those are from different softwares and it'll allow us to do one synchronization with multiple design files. So now we'll select iTwins file service. And as you can see, it's open up the documents from our control project, go into my design documents, and now I can select all the design files I wanna use. Next, it's gonna ask me to define the geo coordinate system. What this does is it allows the model to actually locate to the proper spot in a map, right? So if you're using a program like Revit, usually you have um, kind of a master file that all your um, kind of child files are linked to. Obviously, you'd probably want to check off that master file as your geo coordinate system. Here, we'll just use the um, architectural. We'll hit next. And now you can see here is that we have a drop down. If I had multiple types of design files, I'd have the option to put Revit here if it was an RVT file. For this, we're just going to leave it because it's good to go. Now we can create a connection. So we can create a sync schedule. Is I can create a schedule to sync once a week at the same time every day. Let's call it test for this. We'll just leave it as manual. So now we have our connection created. Now we need to sync our connection. So I'm going to select my file. I'm going to hit synchronize and you're going to see it's in queue. Once done, you'll see it says succeed it. And now we can go back to our control model and we can open this up in 4D Pro. Now back in control, we can open this up, <clears throat> edit, and now we can see that we have our model. It's set up for scheduling service. Now we can jump over to 4D Pro. Now that we're back in 4D Pro, again, we'll scroll down, find our project, and we'll select open. Now that our project's open, we can see that we have our model, but obviously we have no schedule, right? Is that we've created that I model using the design files. Now we can add a schedule. We'll do Microsoft Project. And now we have our schedule and we can start linking our model to our schedule here. So now let's say we have that same um, design file, that architectural design file that we want to update. We've made a change to the side of the building. We would go back to control and now we're going to take that file and we're going to update that file in control. Now that we're back into our control project and our documents where our design files are stored, all I need to do is get that updated design file, make sure the naming structure is exactly the same, and I can simply just drag and drop it into here. So now it's going to ask me, do I want to keep original, replace existing file, or upload and rename automatically? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to replace existing file, and it's going to keep that link to our model. So I'll hit finished. Once the file is uploaded, again, we will go to manage I models. And now we're going to go to our connections. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to re-synchronize. And now that it's done, we can go back to our 40 Pro project. And now we can see this side of the building has been updated with the new structural design.